the sunny day of Florida. Every day is a sunny day in Florida. So I'm Except between three and five. Today is unusual, though. It is like four o'clock and it's not raining. I forget it's in the winter. <laughs> this is winter time in Florida. Hi, welcome to the 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. And today we're gonna go over the issue we had with the Badlands. Now, this is only on the Badlands that we have. Uh, our other twos are soft top, so this is only via the hard top, I guess. Mm -hmm. So it's got the yeah. seal. So we had said it before about one of the seals was leaking, and we'll show you what seal we're talking about, why it was leaking, and what our solution was to fix yeah. it. Um, we don't drive this all the time. In fact, I think we didn't drive it for two weeks and it started to rain. And when I had to go to a business trip, we took out the gear we have in the back. We have kind of like our off-road gear in the back. Uh, we took out our gear in the back and- It was four inches of water. Was, it was quite a bit of water. Uh, it was a lot, we were able to get everything out uh, nothing was damaged. The rain didn't get into the the uh, carpet or anything like that. We did have a different mat in the back yeah. that carried a lot of the water, uh, but we're glad we found it when we did because if it would have kept raining, it would have it would have ruined our interior, at least the carpet and stuff. So. Yeah. But uh, we'll get the vehicle. Well, actually, so what we're talking about is right here. There's a seal under this that was leaking and we'll take the front off and we'll move the front the uh, middle back a little bit and we'll show you what seal and what our solution is pretty simple solution just a little bit unorthodox because it is a temporary solution could be permanent but i suggest to get the seal replaced if it does happen again keep that rope that we we're talking about but let's get this ready and we'll show you exactly what we're talking about okay so what we had done or what we had found out is this seal right here was leaking and i don't know if you can see it let me get in a little bit closer there's kind of how it's glued together right here as well as right here Let's see right here there's a glue mark now this seal for a fall this seal isn't one piece all the way through it's glued there it's glued there and glued there from here down it's one piece and from here over to the other side where it does the same thing you have glue there glue there and glue there so it's kind of stitched together when it's hot this relaxed a little bit and dropped down and actually created a hole where the water would go in and under and drop on the here so it drop onto this right here and then waterfall down into the back of the car so what it's supposed to do is go in this channel right here, then you run along this edge, and then go all the way down. Now what we ended up doing is, this came out a little bit, is we got a little piece of rope, uh, I believe it's like 3 16 maybe 5 16 rope, I think I it's 5 16 5 16 uh, 5 16 rope and put it in there. All I needed to do was push this up just a little bit to reseal it. That's all it is. Tucked up in there. This side really doesn't do anything because it's pretty good. It's just these edges right here that I was worried about. Is it a permanent fix? Maybe. <laughs> it, it's it's, it's a, a catch-22 because, I mean, if you go to the dealership and you get a new seal, it's going to be the same as this, so you may have the same problem. Yeah. So is it a permanent fix? No. Is it a permanent solution to a problem? Yes, because there's no other fix to this if it keeps happening. Now, we are going to get it replaced. We will get a new seal. Eventually, when we have time, it is the holiday season. So having time is or not necessarily there. But eventually, when we go to the dealership, we'll talk to them, have them order one, and then go ahead and replace it then. Also, I want to be able to fix this now before it becomes a problem later on where we have to wait for something to happen so if you do have this and you wait for them to fix it it may be leaking until then this will actually 
solve the problem of the leak without having to wait and hopefully it doesn't get worse. Um, but like I said, a simple fix. Is it life ending? No, it's not. Is it gonna affect the vehicle? No, in fact, it, we tested it. We poured, I don't know how much water on this all the way around to make sure nothing leaks. Absolutely no leak. After every rain we check for the last like, probably the last two or three weeks, right? Every rain we checked, uh, we just checked recently now and we don't see anything. So we'll be right back. So like I was saying, is it a permanent fix? No, but it's a solution to a problem that can last quite some time. Um, we will get it replaced. We'll get them to order one, see if it works. We will keep the rope handy in case the new one leaks. Uh, if you guys have that problem, let us know in the comments. Uh, if you guys have any kind of leaks in your roof, let, it, let us know. Um, now keep in mind, we do live in Florida and the sun is just brutal on everything, everything. especially anything on the roof, the hood and the trunk area. Yeah, so we do plan on, well, we do want to get a newer roof for this and then move this roof to my vehicle or Ben. Um, we'll see. Uh, there are a lot of companies out there that are making some nice roofs. Uh, we've talked to a few of them and they are, they're nice. They're a lot better quality than the Bronco roof. Not that it's bad, at least ours isn't yet, but we have <laughs> heard, we have heard of a lot of, uh, issues with it and stuff like that. That's why a lot of companies jumped on the bandwagon and started making their own roofs. They aren't cheap. I'll they just aren't, say, but, but the quality is there. So the quality much. of the one that we saw on the Bronco, it was on our last video where we did the SEMO of the Bronco. It was in there with Anderson Concept, I think. Yeah, it's the one with, with the, the tube doors the tube and the doors. halo doors. Yeah, the halo doors or whatever they call them. And the carbon fiber fender flares. He has a roof for one of these. And I tell you what, we actually thought it was a stock roof that was been right line, but it's not. It's actually a better quality roof and we are looking at that one hard. Yeah, it actually has a better uh, it sound a deadening. Fitment. It's got a better sound deadening in it. It, it is multi-layer sound deadening with a really, really nice headliner in it. I mean, I thought the headliner was custom made and installed, but it's one that you get with their top. So if Anderson Concepts Friendship. is listening, you guys make one badass roof. And that's one of the solutions that we have for replacing this one. Now, granted, I'll end up moving this one to mine because we want hers to be more of the the quality one i mean i wouldn't mind me quality but hers more to be the the luxury one where mine's more of a you're off, gonna be the fun one fun one so. and then that's the dog one but um yeah the the roof is also the reason why we haven't gotten a roof rack yet either because if we're getting another roof on this there's no sense in getting a roof rack yet because i'm gonna have to take it off anyway yeah so, so. i might as well just do the roof first and then do the rack later and then just not take it off twice. Yeah, so we'll look at that. I also want to look at getting the tube doors, or sorry, oh, the, the halo, halo doors. doors for mine. Absolutely wicked those looking. Those are so cool. Oh, those are the, so only, cool. the only problem is finding hinges for it. So we'll get into that later on uh, when we get to it. We have to find hinges. That's your job. You're the parts lady. <laughs> she knows people. She has connections. We need to call and find hinges before I even order the doors because I don't want to pull the hinges off of my doors because that means I'll never be able to drive it outside unless I change out the hinges to the stock door. So I need another set of hinges to be able to change out at least a portion on the door. The ones on the body can stay. So yeah, the ones on the door, I need another set of. For those of you that don't know how cars work, it's the same thing. It's a door on the house. You have a part that goes on the wood, and then you have a part that goes on the door. The part that's on the wood will stay. The part on the door is the part that I need. So I'm going to see if I can just buy just that without the mated pair that goes onto the pillar. If I can buy just this part of the door hinges, that would be great. So i got to get with my parts guys and see if I can do that. Yep. 
I gotta see how it's set up in their catalog. If it's come to the mated pair, then I have to get it at the mated pair. And we can utilize that for hanging the doors on the walls and stuff like that. So <laughs> there is there is solutions to the problem. It's just you gotta find if you do have to buy extra parts, you gotta utilize them somehow. And I figured that'd be the easiest way. Keep them off the floor, hang them on the wall, we'll go. Yeah. But uh, anyways. You know, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you guys have a leak or had a leak on your roof or, or any other any kind, kind of, of problems with your hardtop, let us know. Let us know. Bye. Bye.